recognize as I begin to look at my mind that it operates often in two functions, and that is I'm either rehearsing or rehashing. Or rehashing oh, that's, yeah, that's or rehearsing. Uh -huh. And so much of the time is spent in these future, in these past thoughts that we're missing what's happening in the moment. Mm -hmm. So we're learning to be more present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, taking a few minutes in the morning to be quiet and meditate. Absolutely. It's okay. taking some time not only in the morning. I call this maybe a Sabbath moment. Taking mm -hmm. a little bit of time at lunch, taking a little bit of time in the middle of the afternoon, just some moments where you can be quiet, which is just for you. And I look to frame it and when I talk with the patients that go through our programs, that this is a gift that you can give to yourself that no one else can give you. Mm -hmm. This is time for being. And sometimes in our world, we've become human doings. We are not <laughs> a human being. Yeah. And meditation in some ways is the act of becoming a human being learning to be present, listening to what's going on inside this mind and body. Don't just do something, sit there, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, I think that's the name of a book. Oh, is that? Okay. Um, I think we're running a little low on time for these, so I thought maybe we'd just read the rest. Uh, uh, while driving, become wearing a body tension, and that's mm -hmm. part of what you were mentioning. Um, stopping every, uh, for one every three minutes every hour and relax. And that fits in with doing little shorter pieces of, uh, mm -hmm. of meditation. Uh, be mindful while you're eating. We discussed that one. And taking yourself lightly, maybe you could say a word about that one, taking yourself lightly and treating yourself with patience, kindness. And yeah. We didn't cover that one. Well, there's so. an old saying, he who can laugh at himself will never cease to be amused. <laughs> and so there's this quality that we can learn to have some levity. Yeah. Levity and lightness about ourselves. To have a, a sense of humor. Which, um, humor, of course, we know about Norman Cousins when and he oh, wrote yeah, the anatomy Marx of the Brothers, illness right? where he, he helped cure his illness through watching a lot of comedies. Now, I mean, that, this is the only way to, of course, we need to have medical treatments and interventions, but there's a sense of levity that helps lift the spirit that's really important, that we can begin to laugh at ourselves. And if we could bring this back now, let's bring it back mm -hmm. to the world of work. We've talked about the 10 points, we've gone through it. Mm -hmm and just how you see it impacting, uh, you were alluding to it at the beginning, but performance, uh, b uh, being able to actually do well in an interview, but actually being able to do well on the job. How do you see uh, this whole, the whole business of being more mindful and reducing stress, helping with performance, mm -hmm. job hunting, life work balance, just sort of mm -hmm. maybe in a more general mm -hmm. sense mm -hmm. we could discuss it. Well, performance is definitely, um a quality to think that mindfulness can improve. And I have a friend who's a professor of surgery at Stanford, and I remember him once telling me after he went through the mindfulness program that, that actually he's, uh, that mindfulness is improving his surgery. And to tell oh you the my. truth. You mean like his concentration as well? Yeah. And to tell you the truth, if, if I need surgery, I want to go to a mindful surgeon. I want someone that's actually really there and really present, knows how much to cut, is, has sort of a general picture of what's going so on. So I know which diploma you're going to be way. looking for, right? Yeah, <laughs> and so we find that you know, mindfulness can really help bring more efficiency. There was another engineer that once came through our program that was going to work every day at 6 in the morning and coming home at 8 at night. And oh. He wasn't liking it. His parents wasn't liking it. And by the end of the eight weeks, he reported happily that he was going to work at eight and getting home at six. There was a four-hour differential of time. Oh, my. Yet he was saying that he was getting more done. And part of what he was reporting was that because he was becoming that much more efficient and clear, recognizing when he was beginning to go on a spin and being able to stop sooner, there was a certain efficiency that comes about when you become mindful. And sometimes, you know, just like the mindful surgeon, I, there was another person that his job was moving this mouse on a computer, and all of a sudden he realized as he was moving the mouse, hey, hey I'm moving a satellite in the sky. And, and he oh, became really? aware okay. of that, and it's like, you know, I like guys that are aware of moving satellites in the sky, <laughs> and not just doing this mindlessly <laughs> while you're drinking a cup of coffee thinking about something else. Yeah. Qualities of mindfulness can improve our jobs. I also believe they can uh, reduce absenteeism and burnout. There's a sense of paying attention to what's going on in yeah. your mind and body. As far as in work-life balance, um, you know, life is a juggling act, and sometimes we need to recognize that we actually might be, hello, doing too much. Maybe we need to reprioritize our lives. We need to f discover what's important. Family, our children, of course, our sense of work, 
finding some balance is absolutely important in our lives, and we need to take care of ourselves. So what is it that we really value? I mean, if we're really going inside, maybe we have a better sense of what it is that's really important to us. Maybe it isn't getting that next release done, it's being a good parent or a good spouse. Yeah. And even the example you gave, where the person went from six to eight to eight to six, their efficiency seemed like it went up and they just picked up all of these hours that they could spend with their family. Absolutely. So it changed the, the life-work balance, yes. right? Except uh, in one case, there was a physicist that was practicing mindfulness and his, he got his, so efficient with his job, he was actually getting paid by the hour rather than the salary. <laughs> and so then he was wondering, am I going to run out of work? So I recommend <laughs> in salaried positions. Now, I think mindfulness can be very important. You didn't have to meditate on the job and take that whole <laughs> one hour, uh, you know, doing that. But it seems like it really does have an impact then. And I know that mm -hmm. in the coaching that I do, that the people really do need to bring the stress level down as, right before they go into some of these situations that are just Absolutely. really difficult. Uh, so, I, you know what? We're just about out of time, believe it or not. <laughs> and I, I'm going to have to have you back at some other point because we have to cover more of this. But uh, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. And uh, I, th I think that from the 10 points and a few of the other things we discussed, I think we got an idea of the way the uh, maybe viewers can use this in maybe small pieces. Because you do believe that, right, that the shorter. Absolutely. Just even just a one or two minutes of just being with your breath, feeling into your body. And you know, one thing I would just say to the viewers too is I want to really support you in believing in yourself because it's so hard out there when after you've maybe uh, put out a thousand resumes and you're still not, you know, and, and it's still not grabbing a bite, it's hard. It affects your self-worth. And so I really want to support all of you out there to believe in yourself and that you will succeed. Okay, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Thank you very much for being thank on the show. Much. Thanks, Bob. And thank you for watching Your Hired. If you have any input for us about this particular show or other shows, guests you'd like us to have, topics you'd like to cover, or if you want to uh, just have questions, ask questions about jobs and careers, please feel free to email me at steve at bayareacareercoach.com. And I invite you to check out the website, www.bayareacareercoach.com. There's a lot of free and useful information there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Your Hired. Thank you for being on Your Hired. Thank you. I feel like we just scratched the surface, but uh, there's so much more.